In today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the WordPress Gutenberg editor and how you can save your website if things go wrong, especially if you're using a page builder. Hi, my name is Mac from marketingwithmac.com, a website where I share strategies on how to turn your website into a money-making machine. Okay, so I've been getting a few emails regarding this uh, WordPress 5 update, which is the Gutenberg editor. And uh, quite a lot of people are quite concerned because there are freelancers that, you know, email me and also some design agencies who are worried that uh, things may go wrong if they update to their WordPress 5 when it releases. And because that may cause a problem with Divi. So I can understand that concern because... I mean, they, I mean, if you have designed um, tens of uh, websites or hundreds of websites, this can be a problem if things are going wrong. Now, the cases where I've tested this plugin is a basic website, which is not running, you know, a lot of plugins and things have been working fine. But it may be that if your website is set to function a certain way, uh, with that plugin, it may, or with that update, it may cause a few problems. So there's um, a few things that you can do. First of all, uh, you can test this uh, WordPress update, this uh, Gutenberg editor, on a on your local machine uh, where you've installed like WordPress. Test everything on there. If everything works fine, then you can upload the, upload this onto a production website. Let's say you have quite a lot of websites out there because I can understand that this process may cause you a lot of problems because if you're doing this to every single website where you're testing it locally and then uploading it, this can be quite tedious. Okay, so the second uh, thing that you can do is if you're running a website uh, hosting uh, where you are able to use staging website, you can also do this on a staging website and that could work as well. But the best way to do this, in fact, if you don't even want to uh, mess around with staging websites and installing WordPress on a local machine, is by using this plugin called the Classic Editor. So what this plugin does is, once you install it, it takes away the Gutenberg Editor and then it just brings everything back to how things were. So this may be an option you're opting for, especially for those of you that have built a lot of websites and also those of you that hate this Gutenberg editor. So this plugin is makes things very, very easy. It takes you back to how things were and you won't have any conflicts after that. So that means you can have the benefit of getting all the updates from WordPress while you're running this classic editor. Right. So uh, I'm just going to show you quickly how you can add this plugin onto your website and revert things to work how they were before you update to the uh, Gutenberg editor. Okay, so right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. So notice here that the layout is slightly different. Now this is mainly because I'm running the uh, Gutenberg update. Okay, so all you need to do here is to add your title and then I'll just click on use Divi Builder. Now over here on the side, you notice that we have all these blocks and all this kind of stuff. But of course, if you're using a page builder, you don't need to worry about all this. So I'm going to click here on Use Divi Builder. So on this page, all I'm going to do is to install a um, pre-made layout. So I'm just going to choose a random one here. It doesn't really matter. So I'll choose, I'll go ahead and use this one here. Right. So everything is now installed. That looks fine. So all I'm going to do now is to publish this page. So as you can see, the Gutenberg editor is fine. It works okay, but as I mentioned, you could be running maybe an e-learning website or some plugin that may cause you problems. So if you are getting problems after you've updated to this Gutenberg editor, all you have to do is to come back over here. In fact, let me exit the Visual Builder, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is to go back to my dashboard and then go to the plugins, okay? So over here, the plugins, I'm gonna click Installed Plugins so you can see uh, that plugin that I've uh, installed. So right now, here, here it is. It's the classic editor. I haven't activated it, but before I activate it, I just want to show you quickly how you can find it and where to, uh, and how you can add it. So I'm going to click here on add new, and then over here on the search plugins, I'm just going to search for it. So my keyword here is classic editor, and this is the first one that has just come up here. Okay, so you can see it's been installed over 200,000 times. So that's really cool. And it has a five star. So it's a solid plugin and it works really, really well. So basically what this does is it, it just restores the classic WordPress editor. That's all it does. Okay. Because I've downloaded it, it's, it's now asking me to uh, activate it. But in your case, you'll need to install it first and then click activate. So now I'm going to click on activate. 
Now, I want you to notice what happens when I go back to uh, any WordPress page or if I try to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages and then I'm going to click on Add New. So you'll notice that the layout will be different. So there we go. So now that page that I had, which is very clean and simplified, is now gone. So now if I type Title 2, so this is pretty much how we used Divi before. So I can now click on Use Divi Builder and then I can go to my Visual Builder as normal. So this is how quickly you can switch back to how things were before if you're finding that you're having problems and conflicts with this new Gutenberg editor. So that's all you need to do and everything should be fine. But I know it can be a headache trying to uh, do this to uh, maybe 100 websites that you've designed if you're a design agency. But you know what? At least we have a way, back, a way to go back to uh, this setting where you can get your website up and running again. Okay, so this is how you actually use this plugin to revert back to how things were. So test it out, see how it works. So there's not really need to uh, panic uh, if you are having any uh, problems with uh, Gutenberg or if you've taken that step to install Gutenberg on your website. So if you've installed it and you can't roll back to how things were, don't worry about it. Just install this plugin and things uh, will work as they used to before. Okay, so that's all I have for you in today's video. If you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free WordPress course which you can sign up to uh, right away. The link to that is in the description below. So the course is called WordPress Mastery. So go ahead, sign up. It's absolutely free. That's my gift to you. So that could be your starting point into learning how to design websites using WordPress. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. By doing that, you'll be notified when I release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you soon.